Global Community Monitoring. Happy 10th birthday. We really appreciate everything you've done for us, and we're glad that you're there for us. So hang in there and keep on plugging. I'm Dee Wilden. I'm the coordinator for the Claymont Dust Study. In 2003, we had an enormous amount of dust, and it found out it was coming from Claymont Steel at the time. And we looked around. We needed some help. We eventually got a grant from Claymont Steel for $45,000. For $50, and we hired Global Community Monitoring and so thankful that we did. We've seen a 50% turnaround in the amount of dust that we're getting. It was proven that the dust we were getting came from Claymont Steel. And DENREC came in, which is the Delaware Na Natural Environmental Resources. And they inf put into force regulations that Claymont Steel had to adhere to in order to bring the problem under control. So far, we've been doing very well with it. It's been a slow process, but Claymont Steel has been cooperating, and they have been following no, the I orders my, set out by Denrec. Um, we're looking forward to the new bag house completion in 2013, and hopefully at that time, the steel dust is, if not entirely, just about all, all eliminated. Phase one part of the samples, we were above it last year, last time, last year, more than a year ago. So it's down. And I, I must say, um, for guys with four-hour training class, it looks like you did a really nice job of taking your samples. With the work problems, by the best. when you work problems, they were marked down and noted, and it was uh, some really good work done.